In this video, we will discuss the problem reaching the heights. The problem says that the teacher gives a mental ability test to Raju and the question is as follows. So, Raju is in an elevator and given by his teacher is an array of size n. So, basically the teacher gives him an array of size n which denotes the number of floors and the indexing is one based. Okay. The elevator starts from the ground floor. So, the elevator will start from the ground, ground floor and it will move up and down. So, x floors and y floors respectively. So, at a certain instance, it will move up by x floors and y by down floors. Okay. Now, there is a code used in the elevator according to which it moves x floors up given at the odd index and moves down y floors given at the even indexes of the array. So, let's suppose that you have the array, right? Whatever array you have, which is of one based index. So, at whichever, like let's say the indexes are 1, 2, 3, 4 like this and suppose there is some element of the array, okay? Suppose there are some elements like they can be like 7, 2, 3, anything. So, at the even, like at the odd indexes, what will happen is you will, the Raju will take a jump of 7 and at the even index, Raju will come down 2 floors. So, let's say here, Raju will come down. This is, I am giving you an example. Raju will go 7 floors up and at the even index, if the value is 2, so it will come to 2 uh, floors down. Okay, that is what the statement means. Now, he is asked to go to the highest floor possible. So, the, so the task is to go to the highest floor that is possible. So, we need to help Raju to sort the array such that he reaches the highest floor after traversing the whole array that is uh, the array that we have rearranged from the starting till the end without skipping any of the indexes. And the problem also says that uh, what does Raju prefer? Raju always prefers to move more number of floors up and less number of floors down. So, if Raju prefers to move more number of floors up and less number of floors down, so we can basically think of sorting the array. If we will sort the array, then we can put one pointer at the beginning of the array and one pointer at the end of the array. Suppose we have sorted the array in ascending order. So, the pointer at the beginning of array will be pointing to uh, smaller elements and the pointer at the end of the array will pointing to the la larger elements. So, if the index is even, then, then we can do what? If the index is even, then we can take use of the smaller values because Raju always prefers to move less number of flows down and if the if uh, the index is odd, then what we can do is we can try to take the larger values so that uh, because Raju wants to move up as much as uh, more number of floors up. So once the uh, once he goes into the elevator, the elevator should not reach the ground floor. So if the elevator reaches the ground floor, then the answer is not possible. So let us understand this problem with the help of a test case here and see what happens. So let's say that the test case given to us is like 7, then 3, then we have been given 4. Then we have been given 3, then we have been given 2, then we have been given 1. Suppose this particular test case has been given to us. So, in this case, like uh, if this is the array, so we have to rearrange the final array in such a way that uh, that what happens is we can get the maximum maximum floor at the end after traversing the whole array, after moving a uh, few few floors up at the even at the odd indexes and flew few floors down at the uh, even uh, like after moving up. Uh, after moving up at the even indexes and after moving down certain number of steps at the odd at the even indexes, right? So what we can do here is we can simply try and first of all sort this array. So if we will sort this array, then what will happen? Let's say this array has been given to us, and if we simply sort it, so the array is like one, two, then it is three, then again three, then uh, we have four and then seven. Okay, this is the sorted array. We can move one pointer i here, and we can point another pointer j here. Now, what we want is, we want like, let's, the index of the array starts from 1. So, basically what we want is, we want to first of all, fill the higher values, right? If, if we are going up, let's say we are going up, so we'll go 7 up and we'll go 1 down only because Raju wants to go as much up as possible and as, as less down as possible. So, we can use the pointers like this and then we can shift our pointers one by one. So, what will happen? First of all, maybe I can use a flag variable for marking that where I am. So, if flag is equal to 1, so it will indicate that I have to go up and if the flag is equal to 0, so it will indicate that I have to go down. So, if the flag is 1, so that means that the indexes are odd basically, okay, like this. Let's say the indexes are something like this, okay. So, what we will be first of all doing is, let's say this is the index. So, what we will be doing is, we will see that if the flag is 1, so we need to insert the uh, element from the back, uh, in the uh, from the sorted array. So, we will first of all insert 7. After we have inserted 7, 
So the next index would be what? The next index uh, would be 2. So we will mark our flag as 0, indicating that okay, now we will be going down. So our J moves to this particular point. Then what will happen? I need to take this, uh, if my flag is 0, so I need to take this element. So I need to take a jump of 1 down. Then what will happen? Uh, we need to change uh, our I to the next place. So I will go to this element and the flags needs to go 1 because now we need to do what? We need to go up because we, have, uh, we are at the odd index. So what will happen here? Now I will take the higher value. So I will take 4 because I want to go as much up as possible and as less down as possible. So that's it. that is why we have used a sorted array. Then what will happen? After this is done, so flag points to 0 and we will update our J pointer as well. So now J points to this particular element. Then if my flag is 0, so what will I do? I will simply insert the smaller element because I want to go as less down as possible. So I will insert this element and then my I pointers move. So I points to this element and after that flag changes to 1. So flag is basically changing. So we can use the concept of flag or is equal to 1 to fluctuate the flag every time between 1 and 0. Like first of all, if it is 1, then it will become 0. If it is 0, then it will become 1. Okay. Then what will happen? We can see that the flag is 1. So it indicates that we have to go up. So if we have to go up basically, so this basically means that if we if we want to go up, so we can use this J. So we will use, we will go up 3 times. Then flag becomes 0. And after the flag becomes 0, so like we will also change the pointer j. So j now j is pointing to this particular element. Then what happens? We will, if we want to go down, so that means we will use this i. So we will mark this as 3. Okay. Then what will happen? I will move by one place. So i moves to this. Now we can see that i and j have crossed each other. So that means I have inserted all the elements. Like you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, total 6 elements were there. And in the rearranged array also, we can see the 6 elements are there. And we have done what? At the uh, at the odd indexes, right? We can observe that at the odd indexes, we are going as high as possible. And at the even indexes, we are going coming as low as possible. So if we will observe here, so first of all, we go 7 indexes up, then we go 1 index down. So our, uh, our floor becomes 6. Then we go flo 4 floors up. So the uh, current floor becomes 10. Then what we do is we go 2 floors down. So if we go 2 floors down, then it would be nothing but 8 then we go 3 3 4 floors up again at the odd index so 11 then what we do is we go 3 floors down so we are able to reach 8 okay so 8th floor after the traversal of this array we will be at 8th floor which is the highest possible according to the given scenario that has been there according to which we had to rearrange our array and we can say that while the i is lesser equal to j till that point of time we will keep on traversing the array by starting our i at the starting index and j at the end index okay now there is one thing that has also been given in this problem that what if uh, the answer is minus one when the answer is not possible so we have to understand when the answer will not be possible so the answer will not be possible when all the elements are same because if we see that even if like if all the elements are same then we'll sort it like this the moment we sort the array like this so what happens we go three indexes up okay we go three floors up then we go three floors down. So we reach what? We reach the ground floor again. And it the problem uh, says that once he goes into the elevator, so the elevator should not reach the ground floor again. So this can only happen when the elements are equal. Why? Because if suppose if that was not the case, if the array was something like this, suppose uh, I had the sorted array like 1, 3, 3, 3. If this was the case, if when the all the elements were not equal, so in that case, what would happen? In that case, we can say like if all the elements are equal, then that means that a of 0 is equal to a of n minus 1. But if all the elements are not equal, so a of 0 is not equal to a of n minus 1 when the size is greater or equal to 2. So if we see here, so our one pointer will be here, another pointer will be here. So if I'm going up initially, so I'll go 3 up, then I'll go 1 down. So you can see like I have gone 3 up, then 1 down. Okay. So that means 3 up and 1 down was nothing but that means the current flow would be 2. Okay. Current floor. Then what will happen? I'll use this 3. So I'll go three floors up again. So five, then another like this three I'm using. So three floors down again. So that means two. So you can see that in this scenario, I'm not uh, reaching the ground floor. Okay. So if all the elements are same, then only I'll reach the ground floor. And we can also observe that if n is equal to one. So if there is just one element, so we can simply return that particular element. Okay. Because we cannot rearrange the array. So let us try and write the code for this particular approach. So what we will be first of all doing is we'll say that if n is equal, equal to one. So if there is just one element, so in that case, what we'll do is we'll simply return the inside a vector, we'll store a of z only and then we can simply return it. Okay. Otherwise, what we will do is we'll simply sort, we'll tr simply try to sort the array in ascending order first of all. And once we have sorted the array in ascending order, 
So what we can check is we can check that if a of zero in the sorted array, if the first element is equal to the last element. So in that case, if, even if the array is sorted and the first element is equal to the last element, so that means that the answer is not possible and we can simply return minus one. Otherwise, the answer would be possible. Okay. Otherwise, the answer would be possible. So we can declare what we can declare a vector int answer, which would be storing the answer uh, like rearranged array for us. And then what we can do is we can say that i will point to zero and j will point to n minus one. So i will point to the lower value, j will point to the higher value. Then we'll iterate uh, while the i is less or equal to j and we also needed a flag variable initially we can mark it as one and we can keep on fluctuating uh, like it will tell us that okay we have to go up or down okay so now what will happen here is we will say that if the flag is indicating a one okay if the flag is one so as i said that if the flag is one then we need to move upwards we need to uh, the elevator is going up so if the elevator is going up then i want to have the higher values i want to put the higher values because uh, raju wants to go as much up as much up as possible so in that case what i will do is i'll simply insert a of j and then i'll move my pointer j minus minus one index down okay otherwise if the current uh, flag indicates zero so in that case i want to do what i want to move in the downward direction and if i want to move in the downward direction so i want to move as less down as possible so in that case we can say that we'll insert the lower element which will indicate it by i so in the sorted array so that would be nothing but answer dot pushback a of i then i do what i do an i plus plus and we need to fluctu uh, fluctuate our answer like uh, flag as well so flags or is equal to one by doing this if it is zero then it will become one if it is one then it will become zero for the next iteration and after this part is done so i think that we can simply return the answer for this case uh, so i don't think that i've made any mistake let us com compile this to see if it works on the samples okay so we are getting a wrong answer for this case like why is that so if n is equal to one so we are returning this otherwise we are sorting the array and if a of zero equal equal to this i was not using equal equal now let us see it works on the samples let us try and submit this code as well to see if it gets accepted so you can see that our code was able to pass all the test cases and now talking about the time complexity of our time complexity of our code so it would be nothing but n log n because we are sorting and then we are iterating through the array so by using the help of two pointers and the space complexity would be order of one because we are not using any extra space in case if you understood the explanation perfectly so you can make sure to hit the like button and comment down understood as well. Thank you.